What's up guys and welcome back to Bold Action Ballistics. Today I'm out here with a brand new rifle. I just picked this thing up. This is a Howa M1500 in the Mini XL Lite. And this rifle is chambered in 6.5 Grendel. And yeah, pretty cool little gun. It's got the adjustable stock and a couple different settings here. And yeah, I just quickly decided to bring it out real quick and put a couple rounds through this thing at 50 yards. I did put the bore sight on this thing, so hopefully it is somewhere close, but yeah, we've got some full metal jackets here, 100 grain and a steel casing. And this is what the bullet looks like. We're gonna go ahead and fling a couple of these at 50 yards and just see what kind of group we can get and see if we can even hit the target. So I did not bring the second camera today, so we're just gonna go ahead and fling a couple of rounds and just get the feel of this gun and see how it shoots. Okay, so this thing comes standard with a five round mag. Uh, I got five loaded up in here. Okay, so here we go at 50 yards. I don't know if it's just these steel casings, but after you shoot, it opens extremely hard. I hope it's just these steel casings. Goes in real nice and smooth and closes real nice and smooth. Okay, so the gun is clear. Let's go down range and take a look and see what we did. Okay, so I did check up the review on some of this ammo before I bought it, and this box of full metal jackets did say that they don't group the best, but that's why I only got one box of these. And those are our first five shots through this gun, but I do have a couple boxes of the Hornady uh, Black 123 grain that I want to bring out next and we're going to see what kind of groups we can get because this is a nice little rifle. And yeah, it was a little bit of a struggle to open up the chamber after I shot and I hope that's just because it's a steel casing. Okay guys, so I'm just coming back in from the range and I'm looking at the empty casings I shot out there on the range. I'm noticing we have some scratch marks on the rim on the back. I don't know if you can see that or not. I might have to take some pictures and put them up. And I'm noticing on these steel casings, they are splitting. I don't know if you can see that, but they're cracking when we shoot them. But I noticed three out of five shots had a crack on the casing right here. There's a nice crack. And if I look through there, I can see daylight in the inside. So we're obviously losing pressure when it's splitting like that. And I don't know if it's, this is the first I've ever seen something like that, but I might have to take some brass casings. This is the Hornady Black 123 grain. So I want to try this gun next and see if we can get some good groups at 100 yards and get this gun right here tuned in, zeroed in at 100 yards. But yeah, that was just something I noticed. I was bringing everything in from the range and I was just looking at these casings and I noticed that, wow, they got a big crack on them and they're obviously splitting open when we shoot them. And yeah, that's where we'd lose a lot of pressure. 
and that would explain why we had the group we had too. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I'd like to get these out on the range next. Hopefully we can get some better results and hopefully the action isn't quite as stuck when we go to eject them. That's another thing that really caught my attention out there. I was wondering why the action was catching so bad well, after we shot. We couldn't eject them. It just, the action opened up so hard, but that would explain it, cracking these casings like that. So yeah, maybe these metal casings just ain't built for this gun. I don't know. Maybe somebody else has some answers and can let me know in the comments down below what's going on, but we're definitely going to try these next. Hopefully we have some better luck and we'll get these out on the range and have a lot of fun hopefully and try out these Hornady Black 123 grain. But yes, that's all I have for today's video guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.